Dinosaur poop. Dinosaur poop. Dinosaur poop everywhere. Dinosaur poop in the water. Dinosaur poop in the food. Oh my gosh, you guys are noisy. <laughs> ah, more dinosaur poop in the water. You know, in turn, this is one of the benefits of running a mostly marine-based zoo. You forget just- Oh, look at all the babies! Look at everybody! You forget just how exhausting it can be. Oh, and there's more eggs! More eggs! Oh my gosh, so many bubbles. Can't even see where I'm going. Ah, oh, somebody woke up. I love these little- Oh, and look at you, are you so happy? Did you have a good sleep? Did you have a good sleep? Oh, goodness! But I tell you what, intern, running a marine zoo, you can really forget just how exhausting it is to clean up all that poop. I'll admit it. But as you can tell, people are really loving our ancient waters area. I mean, look at this! Look at everybody over here! Oh, they're so excited and happy! This is great! You know, in fact, I wonder... Whoop! Which lure? Lure, lure buoy with fish, huh? Okay, let me scoot this over here. That's Lime and Lemon's tank. Can we jump in? Alright. Replenished it. There's a manta ray. Very beautiful manta ray. Where are sharks? Ah, there you are. More manta rays. Hello, Lime or Lemon. I'm not sure which one you are, but hi. Oh, but we have had quite a few new additions recently, and we've been doing really good with them. I mean, look at the food court. I'm really proud of this food court. It is just hopping, and we have tons of people going into our our little cave that we moved over here. And we've got all of our happy little dinosaurs. And then right over here, we've got our awesome ancient waters. I'm still so in love with this entire section. I think that we definitely need to add some shopping things kind of sprinkled in here. Because, you know, when people are happy, like, we could probably put somebody right there. Or somebody a little bit further, like down here. Because when people are happy, they want to turn around and buy an adorable stuffed animal of one of our, our critters, you know? How's this guy doing? Marine gifts, a ton of things to sell. Holy moly. Jellyfish, that's right, intern. We have jellyfish now. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. In fact, I think, because we were trying to figure out what we were going to put in this spot. And you know what? I think we might do jellyfish. We were going to just do um, kind of a goldfish pond. That's what we were thinking about. But I think that would be more appropriate kind of over here. I've been thinking we'll put our goldfish pond in. Wow, we really need to straighten this up. I am going to get so many lawsuits over how bad the pathing is over here. So many lawsuits. Ugh. But I was thinking we could probably put either like some goldfish in here. Uh, or we can like build a little goldfish pond somewhere, maybe more over here when we redo the otter area. Oh man, our zoo is such a mess right now. But we're doing it in patches. We're going through and upgrading things in patches. Look at everything. Look at how awesome everything is. Oh, except you know where there's holes in our roofs because we had freaking sinkholes open up. And I was thinking we might get rid of the beluga show too, because it's just getting to the point where we don't need to worry about our animals having to perform for us anymore. So we're, we're finally financially stable enough we can release them from those duties, just like we did with our dolphins, who are so happy and playing. So happy and playful. They still have their block of ice to play with. Let's see, yep. Just a block of ice, so we'll go ahead and sell those. That means that they've gotten their little snack out of it. Hello, Bottlenose Dolphin 26. What's your heritage? Mara the second is your mate. Autumn is your mother. M Mara the first is your father. Okay. All right, all right. Cloudy is your sibling. All right, are you a boy or girl? Your girl. I think we already have Autumn the second. Hmm. Well, then let's name you. Oh, maroon. Because that's a that's a nice autumny color, like the maroon leaves. All right, now we've got our gigantic guys in here. Look at these guys. Oh, I hope they mate and have lots of giant babies. But we'll have to see about that. Anyway, anyway, focusing in turn, focusing. Stick with me here, honestly. You get so distracted so easily. You know, by plants and things. That's totally you, in turn. Totally you always running off into the greenhouse and losing track of time. Oh, I, I probably, probably do need to start a timer when I walk into that greenhouse because I really do get lost. All right, the aquarium with the octopus, we're going to want to put some research into, because we want that. 
the discovery kiosk in general might be a good idea. But right now, what we are more looking for is something... Oh, the pineapple food stand! Oh, that would be so fun. I can't wait to put those over in our other spot. Let's see, coffee drink stand, soda drink stand. What do we have over here? Water drink stand. Water might be a good thing to put over there. And the cheesecake cart. Ooh, cheesecake so yummy. I wonder what people would enjoy eating if they had, like, desserts to eat inside of this little hall. Would they prefer ice cream? Maybe. I'd be more inclined to ice cream myself or cheesecake. I mean, I love cheesecake, so I eat cheesecake. Alright, so, I'm not finding what I thought I was looking for, because I got distracted again thinking about cheesecake in turn. The <sighs> I'm working on it. I I'm working on it. Let's just, let's just put it like that. A really awesome snack stand, really awesome snack stand, look at you, so green, so full of, so full of awesome things. Oh, that's really cool. We should definitely build that over by our tropical exhibits. Hmm. You know, I wonder if another headset kiosk would be good over here. In fact, I think it would probably be a good idea. There's a lot of people running around here without headsets, and I'm sure they would love to learn more. Why don't we work on that? Let's see, let's put that down there. Just a temporary spot, intern. Just a temporary spot. Don't get too upset. Where is... Because I swear... Oh yeah, I guess Lover Zoo. I know that the gift carts are in here. Oh, blurg. I'm staring right at them. The extinct species gift cart. Let's see. The general zoo hat. The warhawk. Velociraptor. No, I don't think we have anything, actually, that they could buy. Drat. Hmm. Going through the list. There's a ton of different things, like the Komodo dragon. Lion, gray wolf. We don't have most of those guys, though, so might as well just, just hang on. Let's see, the marine gift cart. What are we missing? We have belugas. We have the short fin pilot well. Uh, we have the orca, so we might just throw another one of the marine gift carts down by the whale exhibits. That might be a good thing. So when they see Knight and all his ladies, they can get an orca shirt, or excuse me, a short fin pilot whale shirt, but we are going to have orcas down there later, too. The false killer whale pack, Pacific walrus, so false killer whale, don't have that. Pacific walrus, we need to get green turtle, we've got tons of leatherback turtles, we've got some of... Don't have a white shark yet. A white shark would be a really fun ad addition. We do have the whale shark, Duchess. We're out of black tip reef sharks. Need to get those. No scalloped hammerheads yet. No gar like uh, goblin sharks yet, but we're going to get those soon. Got manta rays. Uh, California sea lions we do have. We do have the rockhopper penguins, the sea otters. Narwhal. Blue marlin. Now that's something that we can add in right now, actually. And we do have, we have quite a bit of these guys. We're doing good! We're doing good in turn. So let's go ahead and throw this guy down here for now. He's not going to see too many people just yet, but that's okay. We'll, we're getting there. So, uh, man, we're totally... I was going to do the, the jellyfish, and here I am getting sidetracked because I think that it's very important that our guests have the opportunity to educate themselves. And they can do that with this awesome headset kiosk. It's just we have to set it up so that people can come by it. Let's see. So there's that. And now we need... You know what I'm about to do in turn. <laughs> oh, it's predictable, isn't it? Time to put plants here! So, but I wonder if we could put... Should I just keep it with the same motif that we have going everywhere? Probably. Why well, break what you know is a good thing? Plus, I can do this quickly. Boink, boink. So there's those. Let's go ahead and get the tree fern in here. Ooh, let's see. Actually, eh. of course I would have to make just putting a tree in one spot an ordeal. Yes, I like that. I like that. Oh, you know what? One of the other zookeepers quipped at me the other day. If you love plants so much, why aren't you a botanist? And well, I have a lot to say about that, but basically, I, I like the animals too. It's just plants are so cool because they're so pretty and they don't move and they don't poop. So every now and then it's just a refreshing thing not to have to cope with something that poops on you, okay? And plants don't do that. At least, they really shouldn't. Alright, so 
so we've got that going. Going to toss a coin in the kelp fountain. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you, Billy Joe Wing. How much money do you have? Lots of money. You could toss 336 pennies in there if you want. That's cute. Let's see. Let's watch. Uh, where'd Billy Joe go? And she's the one. Yeah. And she wanted to know somewhere to throw away trash. She's been eating snacks. So let's watch her toss a coin in the, the fountain. I want to see that happen. Happy people in here. There's happy people in here. They like the fountain too. That's good to know. Oh, I guess she threw a coin from there. Good job! I thought you would have like hit the guy in the face with the coin, but you didn't do it. Alright. Speaking of which, what do you think? Aw, he threw in a coin too. I hope my wish comes true. That's neat. So did she. she. They both wished for things. Well, I hope that you wish for something fun, like one day hugging an octopus or getting hugged by an octopus. Uh, you know what? I think this is a very peaceful place, Worker Molda. I don't blame you for coming over here just to chill, relax, take in the beautiful, beautifulness of everything that's going on in this zone. Oh, look at all the happy people. Happy people over here who don't have headsets, but hopefully they'll be encouraged to get them. Can't wait to see some animals. This gentleman already has headsets, so he's being educated as he walks. A very good thing. What about you, sir? Looking at the cave painting hall. Doing the animals. Celebrating. Ah, always wonderful to see happy people everywhere. Always wonderful. Ah, all right. Now, let's see, what were we doing now in turn? Ah, that's right, the jellyfish! Jellyfish, how could I have forgotten? Because I got so excited by other things, I'm so easily distracted by the plants. It's awful. Oh, Winter's pregnant. Jeez, Winter. Uh, <gasps> Hymotus 1 is now pregnant. And common people 13, or yeah, 13 has just hatched. And yes, you guys poop so much. I think it's time to say goodbye to some of you little ones. Because otherwise I'm going to have to hire no midnight 3. You get to stay. Otherwise I'm going to have to hire people just to take care of you. Alright. And talk to you out. And talk to you out. Man. Do you know how much people laugh when I call them saying, So, you want another one of our, our cute feather-tailed lizards? Oh, they laugh so much because they, they know that I've probably repopulated the entire planet with these guys by now. Alright, let's see. So what we're going to work on over here is going to be a jellyfish exhibit. A reef jellyfish exhibit, maybe. Uh, right here. And I want it to look really nice, very pretty. It's going to be kind of small. And then what we're going to have over here is possibly like a goblin shark exhibit. Uh, I want to expand this to have the whale shark exhibit uh, as well. Okay, good. Aquarium with octopus is done, so we can tuck that in over here somewhere in the future. And eventually we're going to unite this, this spot up and redo this entire zone. I mean, like I said, the zoo is pretty patchy. Some of our best work is starting to be over in this area. Oh, look at all those helicopters. Good job not crashing into each other, guys, because from my point of view, that's a horrific accident happening. But all right, we're going to come over here, and let's focus on working on the jellyfish for just a second, because I'm really excited about those guys. Really, really excited. All right, let's see. Now, what kind of tank wall? I think we're just going to stick with the tank walls that we've been working with, uh, just to kind of keep it uniform. I do like the white tank walls, but maybe, I mean, I'm really tempted to do the underwater themed tank walls for this. So let's just, oh yeah. You know, I think we could get away with this. All right, and let's just work this. Now, is this gonna be enough for just a simple jellyfish exhibit? Because I don't want it too big, and we can always make like another one with different jellyfish. I think this will be okay. What is going to be the deciding factor is that we're going to come down here and I want one, two, three, four. I believe this is the right length. And we want this giant section. This seems a little weird. But what we're going to do is take this blue whale hall, which is absolutely amazing. And it's kind of going to be our introduction entrance into the blue whale exhibit, or the whale exhibits, excuse me. So I want it to be 
Let's see. Actually, okay, good, good, good. So what we're going to do is put it, like, right here. And I'm actually going to take out this pathway right here. And then we're going to put some decorations on either side of, of the whale. Without, without, let's see, can I move you? Okay, you scoot over here now. Now that I know how big you need to be. Oops. Come on. It's like you want to leave just one. Two little paths. Let's go ahead and take this out. Almost. Ah, got it. Perfection. And then we put the whale back here. Just like that. So people can walk through the whale hall. And on either side we're going to put plants uh, to kind of decorate and accent the area as you walk through. And then you come out here, this will probably be like another food court sort of area. We might even put in one of the kelp cafes in here. Uh, probably open it up around, around our jellyfish exhibit. I mean, oh, isn't it just wonderful that we get to come here all the time? We get to work here every day. We get to see all this cool stuff. This is, this is just wonderful. We're creating somewhere that's beautiful. Somewhere that's definitely a very unique place on Earth. Haven't you ever gone to one of the aquariums and just been completely blown away by what you've seen? And it just feels like a truly special place on the planet. That's what we're going for here in turn. Talk about, talk about some big potatoes. Big fish to fry. Just joking everyone, don't panic. <laughs> All right, let's see. So that should give us even evenness on both sides of the jellyfish exhibit. We're going to put our goblin shark probably right here to kind of lead. You know, goblin shark isn't exactly ancient, I don't think. I'll have to double check, but it looks pretty ancient and weird. So it'll be a good way to transition from the Hall of Ancient Waters into the whale area, the whale section of the zoo. So we'll kind of block that part off right here. Maybe tidy this up. Uh, a little bit. I still like the idea of a snack food court over here so people can just sit and watch the dolphins. I know that is personally what my mother would always do. She loves bottlenose dolphins. Loves, 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 loves them. And her dream is to swim with them. You should have seen how happy she was when I told her I worked here. Let's just say she's been here quite a bit to snuggle with winter and autumn. Alright. But people love watching the dolphins so I want to make sure they can snack while they do that. And then, let's see, I kind of want it to be sort of even over here. I think that's probably, probably good. Yeah, that's probably good. And then, because we want like the food courty sort of area. So we'll figure that out as things go on. Because now, now it's time for jellyfish. Oh, so excited. Okay, so first things first, let's look at the different species we have. And once again, I have to thank my friend Ben Zoomaster, Zoomaster Ben, because he's the one who managed to hook me up with the people who are selling me jellyfish. Oh, so exciting. So exciting. <gasps> jellyfish! 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 There's a lot more things than just jellyfish! What are you? What are you? Kagu? What's a Kagu? You're adorable! Can I look at you? Oh my gosh! Oh, so many new things. Okay, you don't put a bird inside of your, your fish tank, though. Oh my gosh, the Australian spotted jellyfish, the cross jellyfish, fried egg jellyfish, purple striped jellyfish, yellow jellyfish, lion's mane jellyfish, flower hat jellyfish, cannonball jellyfish. Are you kidding me? Look at how teensy they are. I can't even see this one yet. It's too small. Whoa, that one's bigger. Yeah, the lion's mane is one of the bigger jellyfish, if I remember correctly. Where are you? You're so small, flower hat jellyfish. Yellow jellyfish, you're so teensy. Oh, let's just fill this thing up with jellyfish. All right, now these guys are actually more of your your deep sea plagic. Uh, probably butchered that that pronunciation too. I'm gonna have to work on that. I'm gonna have to work on that. Woo! Look at that water. That's pretty. So you know what I have to do in turn. I have to deal with just the rocks again. <laughs> uh, but that's okay, because they need things to be kept kind of simple. Oh, uh, rocks. Why 
just the rocks. I'm gonna have to take your advice and go go sit in the greenhouse for lunch to recover from from only having rocks to work with. Why? Oh, we'll put in a lot of the deep sea corals in just a second though, and that should make me feel better. I can even sneak a little reef rock. I'm gonna just sneak a reef rock in here, but it, it's not it's not appropriate. <sighs> The whole point isn't to, to make nature conform to what I want, it's to teach people the way that the natural world actually is. And you can't do that if, if you're trying to pretend that jellyfish like to hang out where they don't actually really like to hang out. It's just rude. Just rude to the jellyfish. Do I even want that giant rock? I don't even know if we want that giant rock. I think we want to keep this exhibit really, really simple. Probably just a few more medium rocks sort of tucked in. Let me see if I can just put you... Like, yeah, very, very simple. I think that and then some coral, some deep sea coral, sort of uh, tucked around here. Let me put a couple, like a little, little cluster of you guys right there. I don't think... I know this is going to come as a shock, but I don't think I'm even going to put the plant uh, that we found in here because the jellyfish are going to be what stand out and are so bright and beautiful. So, all right, all right. I'm so excited, jellyfish! Oh my gosh! The Australian spotted jellyfish! I think we're just going to throw in a whole bunch of them. So, let's see, let's just start with some yellow jellyfish. I want some yellow jellyfish. I want some flower hat. I can't even see you guys. I don't know. We'll wait on the flower hat because I can't see them. That makes me nervous. Now the, the couple lions mean just a couple. And then the purple striped. One, two, three, four. And then some cross jellyfish. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, wait. Okay, don't want to do too many. Alright, now what do you guys need? Nothing. You do enjoy a good herring now and then. I can take care of that. You don't need any shelter. You guys are amazing and simple. Jellyfish. That was a lot of jellyfish, actually. I hope that wasn't too many jellyfish. I think they'll sort it out. Hello, guys. I don't think you can really scrub it up, dub jellyfish, but I'd sure try. All right, intern. I'm going to do something really silly, especially considering there's a lion's mane in there, and trust that my wetsuit will protect me and jump in and see how they're faring. <gasps> okay, gotta move careful. Don't want to accidentally hurt our jellyfish. I just want to get a better look at them. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah, this, this was what we needed to put in here. This, this is just beautiful. This is just utterly beautiful. Yes, and they're happy, and they're settling in, and I think that this was exactly the right thing to do. Whew, and also our bottlenose dolphins are having conniption fit. Possibly because they no longer have a filter, and that's a lot of dolphins and a lot of dolphin poop. Ah, well all right, I'm going to install some new filters somehow on the dolphin exhibit, and then you go ahead, get some lunch, and when we come back, we will, let's see, what should we do next? Probably work on the goblin exhibit, if I can get the permit. I actually think I'm in a little bit of trouble and that I'm going to be made to redo this section right here for security and safety reasons because I kind of broke the bridge and kind of broke the roof. So I think I'll have to take care of those things next so things aren't so broken. But after that, also trainer, trainer Maxwell, we're good. We're good, we're, we're, no, longer, we're no longer training the animals. Thank you very much for your time and your dedication over the years, though. Come back as a, as a zookeeper and I can give you a job. But yeah, I think I'm in a little bit of trouble, so I think there's just a few things like the pathing that I need to tend to. But once that's taken care of, we'll be good to go. And we can work on our goblin shark exhibit, and then we'll start also redoing, after that, some of the, the broken exhibits, like our otter exhibit over here. 
and worm our way into the coastal exhibits before we can really work our way up, 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 up to the mega thing, which is probably going to be some orcas. And I still don't know, we might, we might be able to pull that off, what everyone wanted, being able to put the orcas in the center right here. So I'm going to have to figure it out, going to have to talk the talk and walk the walk and see what people say and what's actually best for the animals. But those are the, those are the plans. So I will see you later, intern. Bye-bye.